This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Comet C-2014, Q2, Love, Joy, Part 4.6. Now, pretty please, man, I have some sugar, baby. Are you ready to rock and roll? The show has just begun. We are talking about comets and signs in the heavens, which is a fancy way of saying space weather because they are our celestial solar system heavens. Since November 30th, I've gone on record to track Comet C24 Q2. It's one of my finer picks. About three weeks later, everybody got on board. And what do you know? Lo and behold, this looks like a pretty special comet. Comet Lovejoy brightens. It's official. Comet Lovejoy C2014 Q2 is now a naked eye object. Science journalist and longtime comet watcher Mariano Ribas of La Planetario de la Ciudad de Buenos Aires, Argentina, reports that as of last night, Comet Lovejoy has reached magnitude 5.0. Reports that as of last night, Comet Lovejoy has reached magnitude 5.0 just above the threshold for human visibility from dark sky sites. Even in the light polluted sky of Buenos Aires, the comet is very easy object in 10 by 50 binoculars. Seen through binoculars, the comet looks like a fuzzy green ball. A telescope reveals the comet's long, delicate tail. We know, man, we found out with Rosetta and that comets are exactly like they told us they are. That's what that two days proved. Comets are exactly like they say they are. Just dirty snowballs, man. They are not magical space cat dragons. But they do act like cats. You never know what they're going to do. Ladies and gentlemen, I interrupt my own video to announce it has been spotted at a 4.6 magnitude. Well, that's cooler looking than anything um, I have never looked like. Good job, Alberto Guanjano Vardin Vardiniza. Animation of Comet Lovejoy. Interval of time, 8 minutes, 20 seconds. Celestron, big camera. That's pretty cool. All right, I interrupt my own video. Wow, that one's gorgeous. This turned out to be quite a comet. That definitely quite a comet. We're at 4.6. We're jumping exponentially. 4.6. 4.6. 4.6. 